Alrighty, g'day everyone, I'm Pron and welcome to the Red Dead Online Beta. So, this has just came out last week. Um, since I played Red Dead Day 1, I got access to it on the Wednesday, I think, because of time zones and everything. I'm playing on Thursday. Um, I'm going to head into it. Um, I haven't actually had a go at it yet. Uh, I had a look and see, and I got to the character selection screen, then I headed off and did something else because I was doing, I don't know, not playing at the moment. But I'm going to head into it for the first time now, so we'll see what happens. Um, I haven't really heard anyone's review of online yet, so this is a fresh experience. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. If it's anything like the story, it's going to be beautiful. Um, Rockstar's also really good at their online games with GTA 5 online, which is amazing. Um, so, see what happens. Also, um, this week, if you didn't watch Monday's video, I am away. Um, I'm going to head down south from Sydney, and i just got a backlog of videos. So, I'm actually filming this last week. Okay, Alrighty, here's the story. Here they are. Tell the Marshal this ain't how we do things here. And I'll remind him this once. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay. Let's go. Okay, you head through there. A few moments later. It looks like an older version of Ron Weasley. Can't then. It's all correct. I'll take the boat then. Place your palms by your chest now for me. There we go. Coolio. <laughs> Processing mugshot. It's a seeker penitentiary, penitentiary mail wing. Okay. I don't think we came across this in the story yet. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's East staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moved! What are you looking at? Go on, get moved. Hey, there's a dude. You, you, you with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in roads. Come on, get in. Open the gate. No, we know roads. Well, I played it back in my own safe. I think we're going to be heading to some places we haven't been before, but that's cool. This map is huge. Ready? Red Dead Online. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, no mistake. You like to stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. We are now, shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Oh. It doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and a pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. Boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. 
Mr. White, I believe it was fifty dollars we agreed on. It was. It's fifty each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. <laughs> It's not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Oh, Just get turn. on the horse when you're good and ready, okay? <laughs> ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months in Sisica Penitentiary. Awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That will be fine, of course. You're just up here. There's the camp. Get your horse. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica and the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Horley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman Possibly by all of them. I can't be sure. But that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Oh, when my manners... Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. Hmm. Yes, that is fine. Okay, cool here. That looks more comfortable. Holy. Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets, this was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, my former best friend. Ooh. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. 
back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed, foul greed, when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye for now. Then Hawley, go introduce him to nice Mr. Cripps. I think he'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps, get up. Oh, hello, partner. Hawley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And uh, where are we headed? That camp location, small camp. Um, looks like we've only got Bayonne Noir. Well, sir, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. Surely, Sounds like a plan. Good luck. Alright. So, our horse should be. Yep. Is that a horse, isn't it? Yeah. Let's check it. No, it's not. That's our horse. <laughs> that explains a bit. Okay. Going to Rhodes Post Office. Alrighty. This is actually looking pretty good. Hey, it's got a whistle we put on before. Okay, so a horse won't gallop when its stoner is empty. That's all good. Alrighty. This game is still looking as beautiful as it always does. Okay, roads, post ups. This is it right here. Alright, we get to view the map. It's huge. <laughs> Holy crap. Look how far we have to go. Oh, this is awesome. Pretty sure we start up around... Yeah, we start up around here for the story. It's even a long way just to get anywhere. St. Dennis must be this capital. Oh, there's still a few big ones. Valentine. Blackwater, Strawberry, Tumbleweed, oh that was massive, okay, this is going to be a lot of fun. Hello there. Oh, guys on the other side. Something of interest to you. They're of that blue water marsh. See what you can do, okay? Here, 
By the way, a catalog, the latest issue, just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if all works out well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed, and all of us are very discouraged. We will all help a fellow sufferer with perfect information. Good afternoon, sir. Clock set on outside. Cool. Yeah, now we're gonna go to Bayou Noir. Oh, so my horse must be nice scrawny mag. That makes sense now. Okay. Don't know exactly where it is. Okay. I'm just gonna cut through every single road possible. This guy. Here, take this map. Just be kind. Don't kill me. Okay, we'll take the map. Okay, how far away are we? Oh, not that bad. Okay, we'll head over there. Ready. Our horse should be coming over. doesn't look real. 
real. <laughs> into the trees like I did all the time in the last video. <laughs> so unfortunately, the trees don't move out of the way. <laughs> hey. Hey, apparently there's treasure here. Oh, this tree's just right here. Discovered an ability card coupon. Hold LB to open the weapon wheel. Why? Oh. Hold that is active. You and your team members deal a little more damage. Slowly regenerate health. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright, I'll hold it down. Cool. Equip. That should be alright. Alright, meet Clay Davis. So, I'm actually really liking the online parts so far, even though I've only done a little bit. Um, it actually looks pretty decent. And the story is actually pretty interesting. Meeting the wife of the person who you fought to kill. It's just pretty actually interesting that she's on our side, like, normally you'd think she wouldn't be. But, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. I'm actually really looking forward to how this will all pan out. The fact now that Red Dead has two stories to follow, it's actually really interesting. Um, I wonder what twists and turns are going to be in this story though, because they were really good at putting twists and turns into just generally chapter one of um, the main story. So, we'll see what happens. Recuperate. Okay, it's just this way. Kinda of took a shortcut, that's alright.
You ready? Dude, you took my horse! Okay, we're cutting. Cutting through. Okay, I trust him. Steal the horse. Oh, so this is pretty good. Cool. Oh, there's gonna be a few bad guys out here, isn't it? Jump that one that time. We didn't completely stack it.
that was. Since I played Minecraft, I always named my horse Omo. Um, I don't know what the story is behind that, but he's going to be named Omo. <laughs> this is the city. This actually looks really nice. Alrighty, so meeting Chris at the camp is the next thing we have to do. Um, I'm going to hold up and say, call it there for the video. Um, well, that was fun. Um, I didn't know what to expect from a Red Dead beta. Um, seeing how it's a bit like GTA, but still the same speed on it, which is awesome, is awesome. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you had a crack of a time, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!